the bread basket that comes before the meal, and it will come without a charge. But there is a new and unwelcome trend for diners. Some restaurants are now charging for items like bread or that bowl of tortilla chips. CBS 2's Jessica Schneider has the story. There's a new trend in restaurants that may have customers doing a double take when they see their bill. Items like bread and chips that are usually complimentary are now being offered on the menu at a cost in some places. Bread is supposed to be free. It's supposed to be part of the service. I don't mind paying a fair price, um, but I just don't want to be, I don't want it to, to feel as though um, I'm being taken advantage of. I spend over $100,000 a year producing bread. So there has, someone has to pay for it. So it's built into the price of your entrees. But if you're having just an appetizer at Commerce in Greenwich Village, chef owner Harold Moore says expect to be charged for a basket of his gourmet bread. I want there to be a sense of generosity, but I also have to stay in business. The cost of staying in business for restaurants is up this year, and that means shrinking profit margins. Experts say it's good business sense for restaurants to charge for items, but it has to be done the right way. Just let me know what the rules are and, and try not to be nickel and diming. Steven Zagor from the Institute for Culinary Education says extra charges are acceptable as long as they are clearly spelled out. When you start putting pennies on charges, people start to have a, a recoil and they say, you're really being cheap. I'll have people that'll come in and drink water, they'll have one taco, and they'll have six baskets of chips and salsa. But owner Jacob Concanon says the chips and salsa are still free, at least for now. When we tried to charge people after the third basket, they were offended. Where do you draw the line? Other restaurants have taken drastic steps like charging for lemon and water and even basic condiments. This isn't a way to gouge the consumer and make more money. It's typically a way to keep a thin profit margin and keep your doors open. At Commerce, customers are clearly informed. It's listed right on the menu. While in other establishments, it's let the diner beware. There are some that are probably looking to try to shake every dollar or nickel out of a guest. And there are some that are just really trying to keep their business affordable. So to avoid a bad taste in your mouth when you get the check, read the menu carefully or ask your waiter. Jessica Schneider, CBS 2 News. Yeah, you definitely have to check the menu. But you know what? If it's a gourmet bread basket, I can see them charging you. Right. It's gourmet. <laughs> it <better be> <laughs> it's just regular bread. I mean, come on. Don't charge me <laughs> for water. Butter. Don't charge me for tap water. <laughs>